Are you there? Hello? What's up everybody, Justin here and welcome back to the channel. Wow, has it been a while. Yeah, I've been having fun hanging out in uh, uh, the great state of Wisconsin um, for a few weeks, uh, pulling product for our local stores. Yeah, COVID's uh, been fun. Yeah, but you know what you're here for. That is uh, here for the uh, fishing report. And well, if you've been sleeping under a rock, I'm sorry, you're missing out already. So let's get in to this fishing report for Lake St. Clair. Hey, do you want the info? I mean, you gotta pay if you want the info. Do, do you want it? If you want it, you gotta click down below. Hit those like buttons. Hit that subscribe button, you know. Make sure that bell is dung, or you don't get the information. You just gotta, you gotta click down below, man. You gotta click down below. So first up, we're gonna start way at the top of the watershed, Port Huron in the St. Clair River. Man, um, conditions have been uh, variable. Best way to put it. Um, water's still a little cold. And that means a nice mixed bag for those that are up there jigging for walleye. You're still getting a lot of coho, a few Atlantics, a few other odds and ends. You know, heard of a couple whitefish being caught, some lake trout, but mostly some coho, a few Atlantics, and some nice walleye. Uh, that bite's probably going to slow down a little bit as things heat up because a lot of those fish are passing through down to the Detroit River. So let's jump on down there now. Um, they started catching fish a few weeks ago and it has been slowly building, getting better and better and better. Uh, fast forward to this week, a lot of big females have been located on the US side. And no, you cannot fish Canada because land of the socialists, we'll leave it at that. Canada sucks. Um, <laughs> so don't cross the border. You'll have a big hassle. Uh, they're jigging, finesse, wind out worms, walleye minners from Angler's Choice. Since they've been able to get smuggled across the border using, uh, you know, the mail service and UPS and all that fun stuff. Um, but fishing has been good and getting better every single day and looking forward at the forecast oh she's on she's on guys um for those of you that can give two craps about walleye and you want those brown bass mm. this video is brought to you by Monster Bass is a regional subscription tackle box that gets delivered directly to your house monthly. Now, Monster Bass is also more than just a bass fishing tackle subscription. They also have the ice fishing box and the multi-species box. So, go on down below and check out Monster Bass's YouTube channel and head over to monsterbass.com. Use the code down below and safe when you sign up for Monster Bass today. Yeah, she's starting up and it's getting good. I got a chance to go out yesterday. Finally got the boat back together. I've been promising you guys the, the video about how the whole Ranger warranty thing happened and how it went down and I'm gonna get to that. Bear with me. I will tell you the full and complete story on just how that all happened. The boat has not seen the water since July 3rd. Let's just leave it at that for now. You'll have to stay tuned, you know, and um, I'll get that video to you guys in the near future, hopefully, as long as uh, work doesn't keep me going crazy, which, let's be honest, it has been. Um, the fishing on St. Clair for smallmouth has been 
actually really good for the month of March. When I mean really good, I mean really good. When we had stable weather last week and the start of this past week, the bite was stupendous and hardly any pressure. Fast forward to, what was it, Wednesday or Tuesday? What day of the week? I don't know. Tuesday, I think it was. The lake absolutely got thrashed with a east-southeast wind. Um, waves were absolutely massive, matter of fact. And kind of turned everything up. I went out yesterday not expecting a lot, and um, I actually got a lot. Uh, the water clarity in uh, Lance Cruz Bay was trash, but as you got past 400 Club, we had that really nice green tone to that water that I like to have. The fish are not spooky. They don't get scared off okay, by the yeah. shadow of the boat. You can get really tight to these fish and get on them. Uh, baits of choice for me has been Ned Riggs, crankbaits, lipless, and tubes. Those have been my four things. Um, got a chance to spend the day on the water also with Bass Slayer Outdoors. If you haven't checked out his channel, go down below. Help my man out. He got over a thousand, I think, just before winter hit. And I know he's been keeping on uh, just constantly grinding out videos. Fishes out of a kayak, so kind of a cool cool perspective. He spends time out here on St. Clair and also in Oakland County and uh, Washtenaw County fishing those waters there. So check my boy out. Um, we had a good time, as you can see in some of the pictures and the clips I've thrown in here. And we had a good day out fishing. The clarity is great. Water temperatures 47 to 48. Uh, the cold front, you know, that snow that we had today. We can't have anyone freak out out there, okay? We've got to keep our composure. We've come too far. There's too much to lose. We've got to keep our composure. Um, probably lost a little bit of that surface temp, uh, but I expect it with the forecast I'm seeing to start creeping back up and getting into that 50 range in those shallows again. Uh, so expect the small fishing to continue to get good. Um, if you haven't gotten your boats in the water, you need to, but some housekeeping, uh, if we want to call it that. So Harley Ensign boat ramp was supposed to get work done on it last year. That didn't happen. So word on the street is they're just going to patch the potholes at the ramp, keep her functional and not shut it down. Uh, Crocker boat launch, a favorite, of a lot of people fishing the mile roads. She is shut down, she locked down, but they are dredging it. And word is they are gonna start the renovations as well out there this year while keeping the other ramp open and clear. Um, if you've ever seen it, there's the old Admiral uh, Marina there, smaller marina, that they're actually gonna start tooling that to be the new launch and access site for us. Uh, that has been in the works for quite some time. This looks, so, looks and sounds like they're going to start that process this year. And from what it looks like is it will not get filled in and blocked off with sediment like the other boat launch has done uh, the last five, six years really bad. But prior to that, you know, it, it did fill in, but you washed it out with traffic. So fingers crossed they'll get that boat launch fixed and worked out and we'll have a nice larger uh, a few more ramps to use there once that work is done. Um, Nine Mile is not open yet, but I was assume it'd be open any day now. If you live down in St. Clair Shores, post down below in the comments. Let me know if you've heard when they're going to open up Nine Mile. Metro Park is open and usable. Only two docks in. They still have two more to push in. Um, yeah, so... That's it for the Bass Report. If you're looking for bluegill and panfish and yellow perch, it is on. Stop waiting. Go out and fish. Fish those protected areas, the, the canals. The perch are spawning probably towards the end of the second half of their spawn by now um, with the water temps the way they've been in the canals. So get out there. Chase those yellow bellies. Bluegills are feeding. Crappies should be starting up any day if you haven't already found them. And little birdie told me north in the lake has already started to see a little bit of activity as well. So, boys and girls, spring has sprung. It is here. Get out. Get those boats out. Be smart. Be safe. 
don't forget don't forget your kill switch as well or yeah the coast guard might get you uh, if you're not aware of that google it interesting information about damn time anyways tight lines happy casting we'll see you in the next video whenever it might be because guess what I'm heading back to Wisconsin to pull you beautiful people product for your local tackle store. So be sure to shop local at every single one of them. I don't care if you like them or not. Spend some money there. They need your help. Johnny Morris does not. And as always, guys, we'll see you. Hey, do you want the info? I mean, you got to pay if you want the info. Do, do you want it? If you want it, you gotta click down below. Hit those like buttons. Hit that subscribe button, you know. Make sure that bell is dung or you don't get the information. You just gotta, you gotta click down below, man. You gotta click down below.